today with another vlog. Ronnie Harris here, and you know, this whole truth seeking and uh, sharing on YouTube and social media has been quite the roller coaster ride for me for the last give or take five years. And I feel that I should share with my subscribers and friends um, a little bit of how the road has been. So like any truth seeking, the individuals and topics that we've been taught have come back to be proven false and illusions. And if I could, if I could just get one piece of truth out to everybody that that might be tuning into this is that we can all be fooled and illusions can be right in our face and we might not see it and that's why i'm trying to reach out as personal and as truthful as possible because just like this image that we've been looking at now it's nothing more than an illusion of what reality really is so I'll take you back to the start. I was reading the scriptures and truly enjoying my studies. And I can remember there was a, a siege in Gaza. And I, you know, I was so shocked that there could be people living in an open air jail in the Holy Land of where the scriptures were, were written. And so, I jumped in and I started researching. Um, I, I found Occupied Air, um, a Ustream that people use. And, you know, I started getting to know people on that chat stream. And I started using Facebook and I started using Google search to just search out um, anything to do with this propaganda of this, this war. And um, I quickly found, you know, a few key channels and the amazing thing is is that since I first stumbled upon those channels most of what they were producing has turned out to be you know mostly illusions um, so what these main channels they do the the propped up ones that are easily uh, found in the search engines and um, you know the main YouTube verified sensations what they do is you know they give you um, you know some truth because you are pulled into their web just like the globe illusion and um, you know so many other things uh, Ebola war um, you know, all these nuclear hoaxes, they're just, they're illusions that play upon truths. And, um, so you, what you really have to do is understand that once you've exposed these magicians tricks, you can then go on to try and glean, um, the useful bits of information that they share because, you know, anyone who's out here trying to spread truth is going to have mistakes, errors, and they're going to be corrected along their way. So I generally try to um, keep an open mind when searching and remember that, um, you know, I've been fooled, I'll be fooled. Um, and I just got to do my best not to, uh, not to let some of these larger, well-spoken uh, propaganda channels really influence me. I, I have to stay grounded and I have to, you know, continue to seek Yahweh Shai and I have to find communion and, I've been really thankful for the outreach and for everybody that's, you know, uh, supported me on this vlog and, and getting more personal and sharing more truth. So after I found out about, uh, you know, the, the Gazan siege and the Israeli, you know, uh, natural gas refineries and, and their, their, um, Gazan plans to build like luxurious hotels and stuff. You know, I moved on to, um, you know, there was the Boston bombing, there was the Sandy, the Sandy Hook hoax, there was, um, you know, all these staged, staged events. And I could tell you, uh, 
here's a good example of of the truth inside of a lie so the hoaxers back in the day three four years ago were promoting the fact that they were they were pulling off false flags or staged hoaxed events in the guise of um, taking away the guns so on the outset this looks you know on the outside this looks pretty valuable viable but when you truly delve into it you find that the nra is actually you know uh maximizing sales in those spots where they're pulling off these false flags and you realize that it's it's probably more the nra that's involved with them than let's say the government not to say that they're not complicit because uh, money makes the fake globe go round um but so uh, continuing back on topic um this is a shout out and and this is just something from my heart that i want to share with everybody is that when you stumble upon truth and you try to share it, um, one of the best tactics that the agents have is they spot you right away and then they gang stalk you or they, you know, they try to make you believe that maybe what you're saying is, is wrong and they try to raise doubt. They try to plant the seed of doubt in you. And you know, that's another key, um, red flag or, or satanic shield that goes off for me because anyone who is, um, Okay, the truth is the truth, whether it feels good inside or whether it hurts you because of the way that you live. The truth is the truth. It's going to be the truth whether or not we accept it. The truth is within and without us. And, I, you know, I just want to say you're not alone to anyone out there who's been mocked, gang stalked, ridiculed, put down, made fun of, um, shamed. I just want to tell you that um, from the bottom of my heart that everything that you've ever done has been important and valuable and ultimately it will be the undoing of all of the evil and wickedness that goes on in this world because if you follow the scriptures and you trust in what Yahweh Shai says you'll know that everything that we do wrong in this world in this realm in this life is there for a lesson to be learned and if we continue to make those wrong lessons we're just going to continue to to go down the wrong path so every mistake you make for every troll that trolls you just remember that it is vindication that you are on something unique and truly truly special so with this vlog I am going to take comments and suggestions for anything that anyone would like to talk about and I'm going to keep it open like that and I'm going to try to get interesting footage, interesting ideas and themes. So this week the theme was um, a quick run through of my YouTube truther life. So just finishing off the topic here, I'm, I'm, I might not make it too long of a video, it is raining. Um, so after I realized that the false flags, the sandy hooks, um, you know, then the next great stumble upon was, um, Ebola, <coughs> excuse me, Ebola was, um, <clears throat> a complete hoax. There was no Ebola. Um, the, let me just make sure this is clean. So the, um, Thomas, Thomas Duncan was the first American in Texas that had Ebola. And you had Nina Pham. She had her, she had her little dog. Um, you know, they were supposed Ebola um, victims. But the truth was, really, is that the Africans weren't digging the diamonds anymore. So the Red Cross and the peacekeepers were sent in. Um, they started poisoning the water wells. Um, they started uh, giving people vaccines that you know, caused the symptoms of Ebola. They're driving around in cars with loud horns yelling Ebola is real and songs on the African radio, Ebola is real. And, you know, it was just complete lies. So the only thing I can say from that is that the only thing that the wickedness of this world can use against you is fear.